Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm the Diet and Health Manager at Celiac UK. I'm going to talk about getting diagnosed with celiac disease. If you're experiencing persistent symptoms and think you might have celiac disease, take our online self-assessment. It's based on National Institute of Health and Care Excellence guidelines, and it will tell you if you should speak to your GP about being tested. If the recommendation is to get a test, then you'll be given a letter to show to your GP, who will arrange a blood test. If you get a positive result, you might have celiac disease and will need more testing to confirm. There are two potential routes to officially confirm the diagnosis. The first is if your blood test shows really high antibody levels, you might get referred straight to a gastroenterologist for a second blood test to confirm the diagnosis. The second is if the blood test comes back with an indication of positive antibodies but is not significantly high, you will be referred to a gastroenterologist for a biopsy via an endoscopy. This is a simple outpatient procedure to take sample from the small intestine and look for the damage associated with celiac disease. It's important to know that you can only receive an official diagnosis from a gastroenterologist, a GP cannot make the diagnosis. The only treatment for celiac disease is a strict gluten-free diet for life. So once diagnosed, you can start your gluten-free diet straight away. However, it's so important to keep eating gluten throughout the diagnosis process. It can be hard to eat something that you think is making you ill, but tests look for the autoimmune response to gluten. If you're not eating it, you could get a false negative test result. As tempting as it may be to go gluten-free and not go through the process of testing, we'd recommend getting an official diagnosis for a few reasons. One, the gluten-free diet is strict and you have to follow it for life. It's best not to restrict your diet unless you know you have to. Two, this means you can rule out other conditions. It may not be celiac disease. Three, and to make sure you get the proper care and attention you need. People with celiac disease should be offered an annual follow-up and being officially diagnosed means you may be able to access additional support. We get so many calls about diagnosis on the Celiac UK helpline. You're not alone. Give us a call on 0333 332 2033 or check out the information on our website for more support on getting through the diagnosis process. Celiac UK also has an online self-assessment tool to help you understand if you need testing www.isitceliacdisease.org.uk We've got you because we get you.